Usually, we consider that SF31 mutation is a good prognosis mutation uh, with patients having a profound anemia or also an uh, iron overload, a systemic one and a mitochondrial iron overload, but finally a low rate of AML transformation. So it's quite a good news <laughs> to have an SF3B1 mutation. So what is the DNA replication stress? Uh, recently, uh, people have discovered that uh, the replication of DNA is not normal in the MDS with splicing factor mutation. There is several reasons for that and uh, there is ongoing work uh, that aim at uh, uh, describing exactly the mechanism of uh, DNA replication stress in SF3B1 mutated MDS but also in uh, MDS with other splicing factor mutation. And uh, we do believe that there is differences between the different splicing factor. Um, we consider also that the DNA replication stress in a patient with SF3B1 mutation is mild. Uh, this means that it could explain uh, a, the good prognosis of patient because there is no um, important break of the DNA and this means that few uh, additional mutations can occur in these conditions. So what is the rationale to target the DNA replication stress, if I keep your question? Uh, it is to uh, rescue a normal differentiation because having a stress is preventing the final differentiation of erythroblasts in the bone marrow. So if we want to rescue patients from their anemia, it could be interesting to have drugs that could limit the DNA replication stress. There was a good news in uh, the recent uh, uh, past few years, uh, that is uh, the, the onset of a new drug for which, which is specifically uh, um, uh, effective in patients with uh, MDS and ring sideroblast or MDS with sf 3 one mutation. But there is still some patients that are resistant to the treatment, so alternatives are still needed. And there is another one, a new drug that is also, uh, it seems, particularly effective in MDS with sf 3 one mutation. The name is Imetelstat, and uh, this drug is uh, currently in a phase three trial uh, and uh, possibly also effective but the mechanism of action is not really understood. So there is also work on that to understand how does it works. And uh, of course, new drugs should be very interesting. And we heard this morning in the Congress that there is possibly new uh, specific drugs that could target uh, splicing events that are unwanted uh, in the cells when uh, sf 3 one is mutated in particular. Mm -hmm. So there is new hope with new drug, drugs arriving on the market, I hope, very soon, uh, to um, indeed uh, propose to patients resistant to Luspatacept new, uh, new, uh, new drugs and new hope.